Woo! Welcome everybody back to Waterbox Live. Waterbox Wednesday. Yes, we are the back official. on our normal schedule Wednesday at six o'clock Eastern Standard Time. After a Blue Friday. Yes, guys, we are here every week at six p.m. So make sure you like, share, subscribe to our channel, and also on YouTube hit those notifications because again we're here every week and we're dropping knowledges. What? At least Jess what? is. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> As Jess is back, stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah. Let's get it started. All righty, you guys. So we're here. Oh, <laughs> oh. Surprised her. I was trying uh, to get Facebook to load my phone, and it never does. So it's, it's that's up. what I love about this show because it's just oh my, like oh god, there it is. We're live. Okay. This is not edited. It's all done live. Did you so see like a countdown? Keenan didn't give us a countdown. <laughs> Keenan. Keenan. You guys weren't muted. So Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll mute you next time. I promise. One day we'll have this as a, like a really tight ship on this show. I mean, yeah, maybe it's one all day. Good. I think it's funner this way. Yes. Um, so guys, again, like, share, subscribe. We got merch available at waterboxaquariums.com forward slash swag. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the, the shirt we were showing on Blue Friday, it's only $15.99. You can pick that up there. You can pick up swag on YouTube also. Um, and I'm also giving away some swag during this episode, what? so stick around till the end. Very nice. Always good to have a giveaway. Yeah. Those shirts are super comfortable. Um, we had a lot of people get those over Blue Friday. Um, everyone wants to show some Waterbox love with their they swag. Do. So we sold a lot of shirts. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And I promise you, when you get them, the most comfortable shirt ever. They're amazing. I they love that shirt. Um, so, yeah, so yeah. Blue Friday. Blue Friday. We're going to recap Blue Friday for you guys today. We're going to go all through that. we got a pretty cool video set up for that. Um, I do want to mention real quick, if you guys want to shop Waterbox Direct, again, just like on Blue Friday, we're available in the U.S., Canada, Europe, and the U.K. So definitely check us out there. Um, and we just launched a new program in the United States that we should talk about. Very excited about this. Yes. Very, very excited. So home delivery, you guys. We have revamped our shipping service on our aquariums. I think we're doing something that no one's really ever done before. And, you know, you now have options to get your aquarium, not only like just standard, mm -hmm. which is it's coming to you on the truck, lift gate, appointment, all of that. Right. Standard service that you're always getting. Um, now there's inside delivery. Yes. And not only that, inside the garage. Yes. So um, there's a couple of tiers here. So you've got the curbside, which is included in um, like your Frag, Reef, Peninsula, uh, Clear Pros, all those larger models. And that's coming to you, lift gate on the truck, kind of dropping, kind of curbside, end of yeah. the driveway, that kind of deal. Uh, we now have the inside delivery available through FedEx Freight. Only $99 for that. We yes. used to charge $150 for that. $175. Oh, 175. Yeah, yes. even more. Um, so, you know, we partnered with FedEx to give some really cool features here. In time delivery is now down to 99 bucks, and this is garage, front door, back door, mm -hmm. um, all of that. And same and thing, text appointments, like really on top of it, service and fast delivery. Like, yeah. you know, turnaround time is so much faster now. So, one of the things that is really cool about this service, you guys, and we've been testing this for a while. We We've partnered with FedEx to provide this sort of, what I would call somewhat of a white glove delivery service is the text notifications. And we've already mm -hmm. seen people getting them. The second your aquarium, with very soon after your aquarium leaves the dock, you're gonna get a yeah. text from FedEx, right? Give you some appointment times. Mm -hmm. You can text them back the appointment times you want. If those don't work for you, you can contact them mm -hmm. um, for different times available. And then like before you know it, it's boom, at your door, at yep. that delivery time. Um, we've really sped up the transit times. Mm -hmm. You know, the service level is much, much better. At, it's all around a great, much better experience. And it's yeah. much more cost effective now to get that inside delivery option. Right, which we brings know. it inside a threshold, like into your garage or through, you know, to the back of your home or the your front door. Now, let's talk about the premium inside delivery. This is a big deal for Waterbox. I think people are going to lose their minds on this one yeah. uh, because these tanks, okay, look, they come, they're on a pallet, they're kind of heavy duty. And it's not the easiest thing, even if you get it into your garage to kind of, you know, get it off mm -hmm. the pallet, get it into a room, any of that. So this service is actually bringing it into a room, mm -hmm. first floor, second, second floor. Second floor, which uh, I just saw someone asking, what about the New York Upper West Side apartment? 
I'm sure they can handle that. Yeah, so it's a two-person team coming. They're doing inside your house uh, delivery and basically getting it into the room of your choice. And they can even take away like the pallet for right. you um, and some of the like the, the yeah they can remove larger the packaging. packaging. Yep. Um, and this is going to save you so much headache. And calling your best buds over and having to lure them with pizza or beer or whatever you have to do <laughs> to get it into your house where you then can take your time to get it all set up and stuff. It's not sitting in a driveway. Yeah. It's not sitting in your garage. Um, your wife's not killing you for it to being stuck in the garage kind of deal. <laughs> um, so this is a really good service. And the price point's amazing on it. Yeah, $199. Bucks, that's a no-brainer for that if you need to get your tank in your house. And again, that premium service is up to our four-foot models. Yes. Just uh, because of size mm. restraints and stuff, it is up mm -hmm. to the four-foot in all the ranges mm -hmm. above that that cannot be done so what we're doing on that particular service which you can get more details on the website um, basically what we're doing on the premium service is that's a two-man delivery mm -hmm. so we're sending a box truck out there with a pallet jack a lift gate and there's two there's gonna be two guys making that delivery so they can carry it into whatever room you'd like yes which is why it's kind of limited somewhat on the size mm -hmm. range five foot and above is too large for two people to safely carry um, so we've got up to four foot that saves you so much effort yeah. So much effort. Tremendous amount. Right into your house, out of the element, all that good stuff. So these are some really exciting um, new services to offer. Yeah. Uh, inside delivery is even more advanced than it was before. Mm -hmm. Price is lower. And now you can get it in a room of your house. That's crazy. That's awesome. Um, when we started working on that, I was like, no way, no way. But we're, <laughs> we're doing it, you guys. It's pretty cool. Um, but, all right. So, guys, that's amazing. Again, if you want to check that out, those services, depending on which model or which model you're looking at, at the very bottom of the mm -hmm. page, you can see a link to that home delivery yes. uh, site there. So definitely take a look at that. Take advantage of it too, because for 99 bucks or 199, that's a no brainer. Yeah, I'm excited to see a lot more people have an easier time getting the water back into their house, which I think a lot of times when <laughs> so you're ordering true. a tank and you're like, oh, this is coming to my house and it's crated and it's on a pallet, it's coming freight. Um, it's a little bit scary if you've never yeah. had that before. So to have to know that you can have it either just put it right into your garage and not have to worry about it from there or actually just brought it into your house, I think that's gonna make it um, a little bit more peace of mind for people. Yeah. So that's a great feature. Get a water box even easier to your house. Yeah, yes, it, it's literally never been easier to get a water box to your home. Um, and again, just remember this is available in the United States currently. Um, I don't know what the plans are for the other markets. So if you're in the US, you can take advantage of that um, immediately. As it's of now. right now. Right now. Yep. Boom, first to know. There you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tune in to Waterbox Live every week. Get all the to information. Get the, to get the inside details. Yes. Um, let's talk about Blue Friday. I'm sure a lot of you guys here are tuned into Blue Friday. I hope so. If you yeah. at least watched it later, if you didn't get to watch it live with us, we were streaming all day. Um, a lot of amazing guests in here, giveaways. We had a ton of fun. It was a great day. It was. It, really it was, was really amazing. It was a little different because we, you know, it was a lot. Most of our sessions were done via Skype, um, but they were still really interesting, really, really educational, nonetheless. I'm really looking forward to next year and hoping that we can have people in here. Yeah, it was really different, but it didn't take away at all from the content, the knowledge, Not at all. you know, the fun that it was to have these people join us for, you know, such a great day. Mm -hmm. I mean, one day a year is our it's our big day. Yeah. Um, you know, so it was really awesome that everyone joined us, even if they couldn't be here. And I think everyone loved every single guest we had. We had a lot of great people lined up. Yeah, we had over, I mean, each episode we have over, about over a thousand people watching. That's pretty impressive yeah, for a lot so, of viewers, yeah. Uh, and that was concurrent. We had over 30,000 people tune in throughout the day. Wow. So Thank that's you pretty guys. amazing. That's you guys really are exciting. awesome. I mean, th that's why we're here every week. Um, we gained thousands of new Waterbox family. Yeah. Whether it's through aquarium purchases, the group, following us, social media. So mm -hmm. thank you for that. Um, the viewer favorite was the dragging demonstration. Yes. Yes. That was my favorite, too, to be honest. Not to pick favorites, but I kind of <laughs> have to on that one because it was really neat. Every time we do those things, I learn so much. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it was great to have them here and doing that live and giving a, kind of a breakdown of all that. I know when we did it last year, we had an episode of that. Mm -hmm. It was a huge hit. Yeah. Um, and to have the professionals come in um, with Alex and Ann and do it. And, you know, they're just a great personality to yeah. have. So um, I think the comments were just scrolling so fast, there was no way to even <laughs> look or keep up during that stream.
to have questions. Go ahead and play the video so you guys can talk over Yeah, yeah. So, guys, we have a video that we're going to talk over with you just recapping the whole day. Let's take a look at it. Blue Friday 2020. Woo! Came, came and gone. I know. Look at that. Like, <laughs> that already happened. We planned for so long. <laughs> I know. So, of course, we had Tobias who um, talked about reef keeping in Europe and how it's different and similar to here. Um, he's got like the dream job of checking out the best aquariums mm -hmm. in Europe and Germany um, and showing those. As always, thing. Ecotech Marine, we got Jay and Cade talking about Mobius, talking about the My AI app. They also dropped some big information on the AI products being available on Mobius soon. Here we go. Here is the favored um, episode that we had. Uh, Alex and Anne from Luna Reef showing how to frag all kinds of different corals. Luna doing it live here, giving you some tricks to the trade on how to glue them down. And of course, Aquapros, we love him. He's come back again. Yep. Talking freshwater. Yeah, we basically, we went over how to set up a, for a newbie, you know, how to set up a, a freshwater planet thing. Yeah. Which was pretty cool. Third time attendee yes. is ORA with Jordan. And um, they always have such cool stuff to share. And this I one was talking it. about clams over in Marshall Islands. We got Peter Cherick, Reef Dudes, talking about large aquariums at home. That was a really good, engaging stream, very mm -hmm. popular. Um, Don't that. tell Devin the peninsulas are not the best because it won't <laughs> go well. <laughs> oh, and then here we go. We got the massive cl clear mini margarita with the torque reactor. It did not go as massive <laughs> as planned, but it was fun. Um, and of course, everyone came in that helped make this day possible. And, you know, it made it look so, happen so fast for that day. Yeah. But it was <laughs> from 11 to 7. Yeah. We're streaming every hour. Um, they you, just kind of blew through right to, there. So you guys saw that confetti that blew out that I, you know, I pulled the confetti popper. You know what was awesome about that is when I came in on Monday, one of the toilets here in the building had actually <laughs> left a large amount of water in our studio on the floor. So <laughs> There's another I, office in the that, building. It hadn't it, yeah. yeah. So all of that confetti was wet. And that was, that was I was like, no more confetti <laughs> for the next year. <laughs> Not that it usually is supposed to get wet, but I was like, oh, man. Yeah, so the studio I'm did like get flooded a little bit that. over the weekend, <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah. Um, also, why we have a beautiful candle lit here in the yeah. studio. Um, <laughs> and the confetti, yes, was mush all over the floor. It was it was good. So that's, that's a little insider details for you guys. The, the to, not seen on TV version of Water Fox. Yeah. <laughs> not only did we have some really <clears throat> great streams, you guys, and I'm... Sure, a lot of you guys tuned in on Blue Friday, but we released our newest product line. Yes. If you guys didn't see it, we're going to drop that promo video for right now, but let's take a look at the world's, I have to say it again. The oh, I love world, it. I love it. Say it a hundred <laughs> times. I love it. The world's largest production rimless aquarium system, the Pro Max.
Whoa. There you guys have I love it. that thing. It is beautiful. They're going to start shipping in February. So if you want to uh, pre-order here in the United States, that is available now. You just put a 50% deposit down and that'll reserve your spot for February. And it's going to be limited quantities. It will be, yeah. So, you know, definitely if it's something that you're looking to get, um, get in line, get the deposit down because it is, they're not going to be a ton of them coming in. Right, right. Um, you want to get in early if you can. So you don't have a big, much longer wait. Right now, way yours is shipping right away when it comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we're gonna have one here, so you can the, watch. Oh, yeah. So, oh yes, that is a good point. We do. We'll be doing a full series on a, the three twenty point seven, but I do want to note again um, that the the furniture, the cabinetry for the Pro Max is complete. Comes completely assembled. Yes. So keep that in we mind. We just saved you like four hours of labor yeah. right <laughs> there. Least. Like At your least. day just got easier. It like. Because that's yeah. one thing that people get a big tank and they're like, oh my God, they have to build the cabinet. It's not that, that's hard. It's time consuming. Yeah. It takes multiple people. Yeah. Done. Off your plate. Yeah. Right there. So it's, it's a rather intricate cabinetry system. So we want to make sure that that's all assembled for you. We don't want to send you just hundreds of parts in a box yeah, and say, hey, good luck with that. You've got the <laughs> controller panel that can be on either side. Yeah. It's a very large cabinet. You got large sump and on the top off and stuff like that. Like it's all those little features that um, everyone's always wanted and asked for. Like I think the having a built-in control board and yeah. go on the other side, like that that's was a really, must really have. cool. That was a must have for that system. Um, and what's cool about that controller board is you can swap it to the other side. I had people asking me, they're like, well, you didn't put any room for uh, like dosing containers or something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, what you do is you, you throw it on the other side and you have plenty of space for that. Yeah, no, there's, in that cabinet, it's, it's huge and you figure yeah. the tank's 30 inches wide, you've got a lot of space in the cabinet. Um, your control board can be one area. Mm -hmm. Your other equipment can be on the other. Like there's plenty of room to make it all work. Um, it's very well designed in that fact. And this, the cabinet's waterproof. It is, fully waterproof. Like how? Like that's Powder something that's aluminum. not a thing out there. <laughs> yeah, that's but we, that was real important for us. We wanted to have something relatively uh, unique in that aspect. So the the wood paneling on the outside is a, a wood polymer composite. So it's fully waterproof. That's amazing. Um, it's UV painted, and then it's we basically take those panels and we wrap a powder coated aluminum stand. So it's it's really a beautiful system. Hit all the things. Yeah. Like everything covered. Um, the tanks are beautiful. Thirty inches wide. Great aquascaping capabilities yeah. on that one. Um, I'm looking forward to and kind of overwhelmed by the idea of doing a seven foot here. <laughs> um, but it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful setup. Like I can't yeah. wait until that's here. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful build. Yeah. So if you guys saw, there's a there's a special place that's been waiting for the three twenty point seven. It has been just sitting like the kind of barren looking, but yeah. we know why it's coming. Yeah. Common. So you guys saw it in the fragging demonstration. There's a wall there that has the logo. We're going to rearrange that a little bit. And that's where that tank's going to be. And go. that's where you walk into our headquarters. It's, it's the, right yeah, the front. Yeah, direct straight in front of you. Like currently when you walk in, you got the frag here and you got the 220 here, but <laughs> that the Pro Max is going to go front and center and it's yeah. just going to like be huge yeah. right there. It's going to be awesome. Center stage. Center stage. So that is up and coming um, to the 2021, early yes. 2021. February 2021. That build will happen. But until then, we got some cool stuff we're going to do. Yeah, we have to go live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. So there's got to be other things, right? Yeah, we can't just wait for a Pro Max. <laughs> as much as, you know, whatever. We have to fill every week with uh, valuable knowledge. Is, we is do. what we do. We do. So there's something cool that we are kind of coming up with. Yeah, so guys, coming up here. Keenan, what week are we starting this? I don't remember offhand. I know we just talked about it. But um, we're December. starting an entire series. First or second week of December. Yeah, yeah, so the first or second week of December. A brand new water box studio series. Something we've never done before. It's not never like done. something recycled. It's not, you know, any yeah. of that. Um, this is a really unique concept and I love it. Mm -hmm. I think that everyone's going to be really, you know, looking forward to watching yeah. this. So we've partnered uh, with ORA to do an entire series on aquaculture, captive bred fish, aquaculture corals, and sustainability within the hobby. So we're actually going to be taking a deep dive into everything that they do mm -hmm. and then integrating it into a water box aquarium system for a fully aquacultured captive bred aquarium system yes so kind of like sum that up like yeah we're gonna set up a tank we're gonna do a build mm -hmm. um and show you basically how to do this with everything that is aquacultured 
um, and not taken from the ocean. So like we're looking at really the true conservation, dealing mm -hmm. with ORA and what they do. And the, the cool thing about them is they don't do, do fish, like a lot of places. It's fish, it's corals, right. it's inverts, it's like everything. So you can have a full tank where everything has been aquaculture and bred in captivity. The ocean has not been impacted. We're talking from rocks to yeah. set up. All of it is going to be completely yes. um, not coming from the ocean, not well caught, not any of that. And I think that's a really cool concept yeah. to kind of venture into. And the, with working with LRA, we get to really see the inside workings right. with them. And, you know, like we have Jordan on every Blue Friday. We've had them on some other episodes, too, and it's always amazing to hear mm -hmm. about the operations. But I think we're going to get to be a little bit more into that. Yes. Yeah, so we're actually going to take a – we're going to head on down to their facilities. We're gonna, it's we're really gonna, cool down there. We're going to take you around their facilities. We're going to show you the different types of fish. You know, what fish do they raise? What invertebrates do they raise? How do they, you know, grow their corals? Mm -hmm. um, just the whole gamut. And then we'll – I'm sure we'll also dive into the clams maybe – We'll actually be able to. Yeah, no, we have to have yeah. clams after the after the episode on uh, Blue Friday about clams and how like how long it takes to get this clam that the, this big that you go and buy. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. How much effort goes into it all the way out on an island, freaking far away. <laughs> um, you know, we gotta have a clam or two in a there. Little tiny atoll growing clams. Clams for Tons you guys. Tons of clams for you guys. Completely around. Three the world. years later, after yeah. they spawn, you finally yeah. get a baby clam to give to somebody. So. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a really unique kind of uh, build series, yeah. which is going to be really fun. Yeah, it's it's uh, somewhat of a themed build in a, in, a, in a certain aspect, but I think it's also really important because sustainability within our hobby is super important. And we're going to show you how to set up, you know, an entire aquarium system from A to Z, mm -hmm. not just about the corals, but we're going to show you how to mix the salt and do all those good things. But, yeah. you know, and then have everything inside be captive bred or aquacultured 100% here in the States. Yeah, so, so like one of our things that we've always said is like our goal is to, to grow the industry, grow the hobby. Um, and we've always tried to also show the best practices to do that and mm -hmm. kind of like doing builds to help everyone from the beginning to have the most success um, and least impact on the environment and most success for the person. Yeah. So this ties perfectly into that because not only are we showing, you know, growing the hobby, how to do it from the beginning, but also now bringing it into the fact of the conservation part of it. Like yeah. it's full circle for kind of yeah. like what we look for, yeah. like what we try to do, so. I'm really excited about this one. I think it's gonna be really good. It's gonna drive a lot of awareness to ORA and what they've been doing for decades now. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just. They're the pioneers who started it all. Yeah. Long, long ago, and a lot of companies come before, you know, after that, but um, so that's in the works. There's a lot of kind of planning and coordinating we have to do for that, so that's not starting just yet. Mm -hmm. um, but we have a lot of information as we come leading up to that. Yep. Um, and honestly, I don't know how it's happened, but December's actually going to be here really soon. <laughs> I don't know how that's even possible. We're hitting like mid-November. Where are we? Um, like, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, 2021, here we come. Uh, <laughs> I think now that Blue Friday is over, it might slow down a little bit. Yeah. Like as far as like time yeah. warp that we're in. <laughs> <laughs> they call it the water box time vortex. It's water box time warp all the way through November <laughs> and here we are. You cool. You got any questions? Oh, you look like you're about to speak. Well, I got some questions, but whenever we do Ask Jess, I'm going to throw them in there. Oh. oh okay. Well, what? we can do that. Uh, we're totally, but, okay. You know what? I was we off, have, we're off track. We have. We haven't done Ask Jess in Weeks, month, month and a half. Yeah, I think probably like a month and a half. Um, so, so, yeah, yeah, so guys, if you want to... <laughs> We're back to it. We, if you don't know already, we have a segment called Ask Jess. Jess has decades of knowledges keeping you made salt me water... Old. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Decades of knowledges keeping saltwater, freshwater aquariums, and, and she's here to answer those questions for you. If you want to get them answered, email askjess at waterboxaquariums.com. Let's get started. There you go. You're back. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> I will count. No, we're down. not. No, we're we're, not. we're, we're, we're kind of back we're in a frozen like, state of frozen some Frozen with eyeballs closed. How about now? <laughs> All right. There we go. Hey, there we are. <laughs> I should have just sat there frozen and acted like that was still me. <laughs> He's like, we're back. I'm like, no, we're not. Okay. Kind Technical. Of. 
We're back, good. but just in a video state. All right, so Ask Just is back, and it should be happening every week. We shouldn't have any other breaks in it. Um, just coming up, everything we do Blue Friday, we kind of got away from the segment. We're back. What you got? Yeah. We're back to the uh, normal Wednesday show. So we got, first question comes from Ken Taylor. He says, hello, Jessica. I won 100.3 on Reef to Reef. Wow, what? that's pretty awesome. I know. We're cool. Uh, Thursday <laughs> evening and would like to know what return pump and skimmer you would equip with it. You guys are put on a great Blue Friday event and the Wednesday shows are very informational. Thank you for the donations of Reef to Reef. Much appreciated. Thank you, Ken Taylor. Yeah, that's awesome. We want to thank you on Reef to Reef. So if you don't know, we do have support in a lot of our forms. Anyway, um, so 100.3, I would... My best recommendations for that is going to be the NIOS Quantum 120. Mm -hmm. um, you could probably even go up to the 160 if you're doing like a higher fish load or need really clean water for like SPS. Uh, for your pump, the Vector S2 is going to be your best bet. It'll hook up easy and you'll have plenty of flow however mm -hmm. you want to dial it in. So those would be my recommendations on that one. And congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. So we do every year we do a giveaways to Reef to Reef to support so the hobby. Check so. them out. It's a great forum. Um, and we're sponsored there, so you'll have a chance to win water box there, too. Love it. Next question is from Mark. Says, hi, Jess. I purchased a Marine X 90.3. How much flow rate for the return pump? Do I need to include total water volume sump plus main display or the main display only? Um, I kind of just take total water volume um, into account when you're doing your pump because you've got to move all the water. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. if it's in the display or the sump. It's all got to make a big full circle. Mm -hmm. um, and for that one, the... Viper 3.0 or 5.0 is going to be a good bet. You could even definitely do the S2 if you want to get a little bit fancier with better control. The S2 yeah. would work well with that. Um, but yeah, those two, and you can't go wrong with either one. Excellent. NIOS makes a really great product. Skimmers, pumps, doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Um, next question is from DJ. It says, hi, Jess. My plan for my Marine X 90.3. The Marine X is very popular. It is. <laughs> it is. I've a lot of well, a lot of Marines have started hitting the market, so we have a lot of yeah. people setting them up. And you know, you can if you check out our user group on Facebook, you'll see a lot of Marine Rexes yeah. um, getting ready for water and all set up. And, and you're everything. seeing it worldwide too. You're seeing it over in Europe. Soon you'll start seeing it in Canada. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, DJ says my plan for my Marine X 90.3 aquarium is to have a mixed reef. This will be my first time getting into corals, and of course, I will start with the soft corals until I learn more. My question is, when do you know you've graduated from beginner? and can move on to the more challenging corals? That's a good question. It is. Um, and it, there's not like a set answer, but I kind of say rule of thumb. If you've had it up and running, you've had your soft corals, you've got your, you know, at least 50% fish load of what you plan to put in there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, your nitrate and phosphate are staying at low enough levels and consistent. The next thing is you're looking at like alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. If you're testing those and dosing those and you're keeping them pretty even, mm -hmm. um, at that point, go ahead and start adding like your LPS corals, frog spawns, acans, things like that. As those do well for a few weeks, you can look into like some more like stony type LPS. And then you're looking a couple months down the road now looking at your SPS type corals because those are very, very sensitive. The main thing is like nutrient to stand and check. Mm -hmm. Your water changes are being done regularly. Um, and your dosing and testing regimen seems pretty evened out. Yeah. Just go for it. Yeah. Cool. Great question. Thank you, DJ. Again, if you guys want to get your questions answered live every week here, you can email jess at waterboxaquariums.com. And if she doesn't get to them live, we will answer them uh, regardless through the email. Oh, well, <coughs> I'll try to get <laughs> those answered within a couple of days <laughs> if I don't get them on the show. Um, they will be answered either way. Excellent. Awesome. Yeah, we got some questions here. Um, from Mary, she's asking, I just finished adding water to my Marine X 60.2. Is one bottle of microbacteria to start enough? Um, if we're talking about microbacter from like Brightwell, um, one bottle, you're not going to dump it all in at once. It's a routine that you do like on a daily basis for the first couple weeks, and then you're going to add it like every few days. Um, depends on what size bottle, because they've got multiple sizes. So just look at the guidelines when you base it on the size of your tank, and you'll see how long that bottle lasts you. But it's like a daily additive, not like one big dump. Mm -hmm. But like certain other ones like Fritz and Dr. Tins is like one bottle at one time, and then that's going to kind of last you through the beginning of the cycle. Okay, uh, a question from Adrian. He's asking, can I update the plumbing on my 135.4 with the plumbing from the 130.4? No. 
Straight it's answer. Just wah. not compatible. <laughs> wah, wah, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it's not to say that you couldn't re-engineer it somehow, but I no, mean, definitely honestly, not. on that scenario, because it's just not compatible with the sump layout and the cabinet and everything kind of changed between the two models, is go to our user group on Facebook. We have a ton of people that just redo their plumbing because they want to do a different color or whatever they want to do. You can easily get guidance on there from people that have done it and redo all of your plumbing. Yeah, Yourself. there's uh, there's metric adapters that go to Imperial. Yeah. So like, if you want to tons of information there where you can redo your plumbing mm -hmm. if you want to. Um, you don't need to be able to convert it to one of our like kits because it's just not going to be compatible. Right, right. Okay, uh, Shim Sham Blue is asking. Hey yo. <laughs> three weeks into cycling a Peninsula Mini Twenty Five, when should I start adding Copa pods? Well, if you're cycling it, if you have any livestock and have been testing to make sure like it's able to handle waste products so if you're either ghost feeding or you've got some livestock in there if the levels are even for a one or two weeks your cycle is generally kind of complete you can add a couple pods at any point in time the earlier you do it before fish go in there and start eating them all the better off you are okay uh this one's on freshwater susan's asking i just ordered a 70 gallon tank uh, using it as a freshwater um do you recommend the glass intake outputs um, they look great, but will they stay clear or need cleaning? Oh, they'll definitely need cleaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to scrub. I mean, algae grows on a surface that has water and light. So it's going to grow. So it's going to be part of your maintenance. Like when you do a water change, you're going to take those out. You're going to clean them. Um, and you may have to do it more often, depending on where they're placed. But you will have to regularly clean them and probably even soak them in like vinegar and stuff to actually like keep them like super clean looking. I can tell you that on my three foot fresh water, I do have glass pipes on it and they need cleaning once every two months, mm -hmm. to three months. That's not yeah. too bad, actually. If you want it to keep looking, you know, crystal clear, yeah. 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 Maintenance, I mean, basically, a rule of thumb is if there's water and there's light, there will be algae. Doesn't matter what it is. That's it. All right. Seems good. <laughs> cool. All righty. So, again, you guys, thank you so much for an amazing Blue Friday. Yeah. Um, we're going to be coming back to you next week. What's next week? What's next week, Ken? Do we know? We're coming out of the Blue next Friday week fog. Is the week after this week. <laughs> <laughs> so might have a call. Would be regardless. Well, we might, like, yeah, regardless, we're going to be here uh, next week. We're, we're, we are planning some stuff. We don't know exactly what it's going to be yet, but we are going to be here just like we are every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Got to give us a grace period of like getting ourselves back together on like a schedule of like builds and yeah. events and things yeah. like that. Um, but you know, we're just really happy that Blue Friday, everyone who watched and tuned in. I mean, we've had a ton of notes about... Yeah, that's what I'm looking at, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. we got to give away some shirts. We do, we do. <laughs> we just had a ton of people telling us how great Blue imagine? Friday was, how much fun they had. <laughs> so um, we just appreciate everyone that tuned in and joined us for our big day. Yeah. And let's give away some shirts. What are you doing? You got reading them? I don't have the actual image ready, but... No, nope. we're going to hold up a shirt right here. Whee! Sure. Yeah, look, pretend shirt. <laughs> we don't even have a shirt in the studio, no. but they are on our website too. You want to check them out? Oh, we do have one. No, somewhere. We have a towel. We a did, shirt. We oh did. my goodness, there's there a go. shirt in here. Boom! Look at that. Okay. This is a next level tri blend cotton t shirt. These are so comfortable. We're giving away two of these. Don't fire. start them on fire. <laughs> so. Uh, again, you guys can buy these on our website for fifteen ninety nine. But we get, typically give these away just about every stream to show our love for you guys being here to support us. So two lucky let's people. Do it. Who are they? Let's go. All MVP. right, winners. Uh, hey, where's our drum roll? Right, three, You're supposed to make one. a drum roll. Winners are John Corky in Facebook and Ethan Gaines in YouTube. Congratulations, Congratulations guys! Woo! Reach out to our support team, support at waterboxaquariums.com. They get you hooked up. Yep. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, happy Veterans Day to all our veterans. So thank you so much for that. And uh, we'll be here next week. Yeah. Thank See you, you guys. Thank you all for watching. Remember, we're live on Facebook and YouTube. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe and hit those notifications. We're live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us next week. Thanks for watching.